going to start this week's Word of the Week out a little bit differently. I'm going to ask you a question. What is in the atmosphere as far as gases? What's the most prevalent gas that there is in the atmosphere? Now, why would I ask you that? Shielding gas, right? You have all these welding processes that need a shielding gas to protect it from atmospheric contamination. So what gas is actually getting into the weld and causing problems? Now, most people, when you ask this question, they come back with O2 or CO2, right? I don't know if that's what you were thinking, but uh, what I did, I wrote down what's in the atmosphere up here as far as gases go, and you can see right there is your oxygen, your carbon dioxide. Now, this week's word of the week is going to be nitrogen. Why is nitrogen the word of the week? Why is that important? Uh, well, it's a pretty prevalent gas in the atmosphere. I wrote down the exact percentages here. Uh, one thing that I, when I was looking up, you know, uh, why uh, is shielding important in welding, a lot of websites that I looked up listed these gases right here as the problems. They get into the weld and cause problems. So, I mean, you're looking at this list, and CO2, carbon dioxide, that's a shielding gas that can be used for MIG welding. So, is that really causing a major problem? Uh, oxygen, also not... It's used in, in welding and it's part of uh, carbon dioxide, it's part of CO2. So, you know, is that the real problem or is it the water vapor, you know? So, just real quickly, I thought that was odd because, you know, the welding, the, the articles that I read in the welding stuff was all this right here, these four things. So, let's just list the percentages and maybe it'll explain why I think it's kind of odd, you know? So, we're going to start with oxygen. Oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere is 20. 0.945%. That's a pretty substantial amount. So there's quite a bit of oxygen in the air, right? Uh, CO2, that is 0.039%. 0.039, not even 1%, right? So I guess that's a pretty substantial number too because it's so, so low. And then we have our friend nitrogen here, which is our word of the week. And that is 78 point zero eight zero percent seventy eight percent of the earth's atmosphere is nitrogen all right so now you add seventy eight plus twenty you're at ninety eight right there so you pretty much have got most of the gases in the atmosphere locked down right water vapor that all depends on we're gonna put a question mark here because that all depends on you know time of the year you know in the winter there's very little water in the air uh, if you're, you know, up north. So, this is kind of a question mark, right? One thing that the welding articles that I read left off was argon. So we're going to put argon here, because that's 0.934%. So argon is actually more than carbon dioxide, and it's not even listed, you know, as gas for most of the welding articles that I was reading. So I thought that was interesting too. Argon, of course, is used as an inert gas for shielding, right? So that's not going to cause problems in the weld. So what's really causing problems in the weld? I would have to say, an educated guess would say, the 78% nitrogen, right? So if you're asked, you know, what's in the air? What is that on a scale of 1 to 10? In the welding world, I'm going to put it up there around a 7 because, you know, that's the whole reason you have a shielding gas. This nitrogen gets in the weld, tries to escape, causes porosity. That's why we have shielding gases. So when you're looking at, you know, the Earth's atmosphere, um, there's really two main gases, oxygen and nitrogen. And, you know, oxygen is within carbon dioxide, which we use as a shielding gas. It's not the best shielding gas we make, but it can be used. So uh, if you had to make a guess on why we have to use a shielding gas, it's nitrogen, right? 78%. So. Um, just a quick little uh, lecture on nitrogen. I hope that explains why, you know, you have to have a shielding gas with MIG and TIG. And what's in the Earth's atmosphere? Nitrogen, right? 78%. This is what's causing the problems um, when you're welding if you don't have a shielding gas. So, um, nitrogen, word of the week. Hopefully that explains why it's important. I know it seems kind of odd. You know, see nitrogen, word of the week, welding channel. What's going on with that? Well, you're breathing it right now. 78%. And that's what causes problems in the welds. So uh, that's all we got for this week. We're going to head out. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. And hopefully you know what nitrogen is and why it's important in the welding world.
Thank you.